Dear student friends, welcome to the problem solving session on Harmonic Analysis Part 3. In this session, we are going to solve Harmonic Analysis problem on Off Range Fourier Cosine and Sine series. In the part 1 video, we see the basic ideas on Harmonic Analysis and all the formulas. And in part 2 video, we solve some more problems on different types. Those who don't watch the video, go to the playlist. First, watch the part 1 and part 2 video and come back to this session. In this session, we are going to solve problems on half range Fourier sine series as well as the cosine series. Here, if the problem is given under Fourier series, then the interval is considered to be 0, 2L and we take the length as 2L minus 0. As we discussed in the previous video, the highest value, the last value minus the first value, provided their y value should be same. Then I can find the length as 2L. And for my problem, we need half length. Half length is going to be L. Now, in this session, we are considering half range Fourier sign series or half range Fourier cosine series. Here the interval is going to be 0, L because it is half range. Already it is 0, L. So, when you find the length, it is going to be L. And here my half length and my length are going to be same. That is the only difference, students. Just remember the mantra. Fourier series means length is 2L, half length is L. For your sine or cosine series is the given length is going to be my half length. That is the only change. In Fourier series, we will be dividing by 2. In half range, we will take as it is as L. With this idea, we go into the problem. So, we know we have four different types. We have discussed all these things in the part 1, part 2 video. Now I am going to take type 4 and I am going to solve one problem on half range. So as I said, whatever the problem, convert into theta form. Theta is pi x by half length. This is in the case of Fourier series, 0, 2L. So half length is L. We have to divide by 2. But in the case of half range Fourier series, the interval itself it is given in 0, L. Therefore, my half length is equal to L is equal to their length. That's what we mentioned. Given problem itself as the half length 0, L. Here 0, 2 L. This is going to be L and this is going to be L here. So we have to take as it is. Why I am repeatedly telling this is very important. If sometime they ask half range, we should be able to solve the problem. This is the only change. So now we, we see this problem, find the first two harmonic for the Fourier series. This problem we solved in part 2 video. So this is full range Fourier series. So now to find the length, I should have my starting and end value should be same. So it is going to be 9 we have to add. Now my length of the interval is going to be 6 minus 0 that is 6. When you want to calculate n, I said many times, you should neglect the repeated value. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, my capital N is equal to 6. If the length is 6, my half length is 3. This is what we solved for Fourier series. Next, I am going to just take the same problem for your most understanding. Find the first two harmonic of half range Fourier cosine series. So, I want to find A0, A1, A2 alone because it is a cosine series. If the question is asked half range Fourier sine series, then I can find only B1, B2. I don't need to find A0, A1 and A2. Now, let us take the problem. I am going to take the values as 6, 9 because my starting and ending value should be same for y. Then only I can able to find the length. Here length is equal to 
half length because it is half range Fourier cosine series. Similarly, for half range Fourier sine series. Therefore, the interval is 0, 6 and 6 is directly considered to be L. It is going to be 6. Done. Now, when you find N as usual, we should not take the repeated value and my capital N is also 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we can proceed to solve the problem. So, length is equal to 6. That is considered to be my half length according to the problem. So, I convert the problem into theta form that is pi x by 6. Now, we have to make the table as I said the trick. Write first y, then x, then theta. Then it is very easy for you to calculate y cos theta, y cos 2 theta. Now, you can take your calculator. Those who don't know the calculator tricks, go to video 1 in the playlist on harmonic analysis. Learn from there and come with your calculator. You can fill the table in a very easy way. Now, let us fill the table using the calculator. We will get the answers one by one. Just use the calculator in a simplified way to get the answer. Now, we have to make the total. So, summation y cos 2 theta is minus 25. Summation y cos theta is 6.268. Summation y is 125. From this, we are going to find A0, A1 and A2 because the problem is half range Fourier cosine series. Therefore, the Fourier coefficients we are going to find 2 by 6 because my n is 6, it is going to be 41.67. Similarly, 2 by n summation y cos theta, it is going to be 2 by 6, 6.268. You can use your calculator and find the values of a0, a1 and a2. Now, we need a0 by 2. We have to calculate 41.67 divided by 2. Now, let us write the half-range Fourier cosine series. The half-range Fourier cosine series for the function f of x is simply a0 by 2, a1 cos theta, a2 cos 2 theta. We know the values, just substitute it and then mention where theta equal to pi x by 6. This is very, very important. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.